do another tech video because my tech videos seem to get more views than my other stuff. That's fine. Um, <laughs> this is a TV that uh, my family purchased from my son coming home from college. Uh, just got it out of the box. I even mounted it to the wall, which took me some time to figure out and do. You know, it wasn't too bad. But, and I got my cables going down. And he's only here a few months out of the year, but we got a really good deal on the TV. And um, not really a Black Friday thing, but we actually got a pretty much the same kind of deal. The Westinghouse. Now, I'm not here to pick on Westinghouse, but it is the issue I'm having. And I had to move everything out of the way. And we, like I said, he's only here a little while, so we just he just has like basic cable. But we wanted to give him the opportunity that if we put a DVD player or something like that, he could watch some good, some good stuff on it. And, you know, like I said, we got a real price on it. So I thought it would be a good surprise for him. He comes home at the end of the week. And we thought it would be nice to have in his room that he's only here a little while. But whatever. He's probably going to take this up to school at some point anyway. So uh, that's my explanation. You can see down below I have attached a cable, a coaxial cable, to my cable feed. And then I have power coming in. I have an HDMI cable on the bottom because at some point I thought maybe I'd get an HD box, as you can see, the wires go up and back, and then you can't really get in back to disconnect wires. So I figured I'd put every wire in there that we might need, those two, and I figured, what the heck, we'll hook up the coaxial cable, and at least get basic cable, or digital cable anyway, hooked up on these things, so you could, um, so you can uh, watch some TV. Uh, might not get HD, but at least you get digital. And like I said, I just bought this TV about a month ago, uh, like around November, end of October, November of 2014. This is a little... This TV cost us like a hundred bucks, and I have it plugged in straight all the way over here. But there's a cable connector back in there somewhere, and it goes along my wall. And there's Holiday TV. Pops features Christmas favorites, um, an audience sing along, a visit from Charlie Old St. Nicholas, and more. You can't see them all, but the all there's, hundred, there's about a hundred and some odd channels. The Verizon so. Wireless Arena and in click Manchester. On, hit OK, and it'll go to that channel. It's something that they're okay. literally at the edge of their so, fingertips. That's my little $100 TV. And that's a nice 55 inch. So I plug it into the cable just like the one in the kitchen is. When I turn it on, okay, the sun's coming through the other window, sorry. It's channel two, according to this thing, and it's blank. I have eight channels that it found on the auto scan. And you go through, there's channel three, four, all the way through. You go through the menu to program it. I'm, just, I'm gonna end this pretty quickly. You go to cable, which it's on cable, and I tried air, it doesn't make any difference. Auto scan's your only option to select channels. When you hit auto scan and hit yes, as you can see by the screen, it gives you analog channels found, digital channels found, RF channels that it's scanning through and what it finds that it can use. As you can see it's going through the RF channel sequence and only finding analog channels. So I'm not going to bore you with this whole thing. It goes up to 135 and then it basically ends up with eight analog channels, zero digital channels. Here's the problem. It has a very weak tuner inside of it that only picks up analog channels and this brand Westinghouse has this problem on their lower end TVs so they and, and and again they put these out so that you they figure most people use cable boxes now which they do in this country that I'm in the United States but what if you wanted to hook up the wires if you buy this TV and hook up the wires you're out of luck you have to get your cable company to give you at least a digital converter box so if any of you go out and buy a Westinghouse or even another type of TV and you find that you cannot pick up digital channels there's a reason for it the reason is because it is not equipped, it doesn't have a COM or QAM tuner that will pick up those channels. And I found this out the hard way, it took me a long time to pick it up, and finally this morning I've talked to two different representatives of Westinghouse and finally figured out that there is no tuners and analog is a really, really weak tuner in here that will pick up analog, but that's it. So I thought you guys might want to know, and uh, that's my disappointment with this TV. But I'm going to go ahead and get a cable box for it, and it'll probably be fine. My son won't even notice. So uh, thanks for watching.